Welcome to the global defense battle. The AIM-120 Advanced Medium Range Air-to-Air -air Missile, commonly known as AMROM, is an American missile designed for air combat. It is an active radar-guided missile, meaning it uses its own onboard radar to track and engage enemy aircraft after launch. The missile was developed by Raytheon Technologies in the 1980s to replace older missiles like the AIM-7 Sparrow, which relied on semi-active radar guidance. It entered service in 1991 and became a core weapon for fighter aircraft like the F-16, F-15, and F-A-18. The AIM-120 was designed to provide beyond visual range capabilities, allowing pilots to engage targets at long distances without needing direct visual confirmation. On the other hand, the Meteor missile, developed by MBDA, is a European long-range air-to-air missile introduced to counter advanced aerial threats. It was designed in collaboration with several European nations, led by Sweden, with the goal of outperforming existing missiles like the AIM-120 AMROM. Meteor's development began in the early 2000s, and it entered service in 2016. It features a unique propulsion system called a ramjet, which allows it to maintain high speed and energy throughout its flight. This makes it highly effective in engaging agile and distant targets. And today, we will compare both of these missiles, America's AIM-120 AMROM versus European Meteor. Talking about the design and dimensions first, the AIM-120 AMROM features a sleek, cylindrical design optimized for high-speed flight and stability. It incorporates four fixed tail fins for aerodynamic control, allowing precise maneuverability during engagement. The missile has a length of approximately 3.7 meters, a diameter of 178 millimeters and weighs about 152 kilograms. Its compact design makes it suitable for internal carriage in stealth aircraft, such as the F-22 and F-35. The warhead is located in the front section, followed by the guidance system, propulsion unit, and control section in the rear. The tail fins, positioned at the back, are responsible for steering and maintaining stability, ensuring accurate targeting even during high-speed maneuvers. On the other hand, the Meteor missile features an advanced aerodynamic design optimized for long-range performance and high-energy retention. It is equipped with six mid-body control fins and an additional set of four tail fins, providing exceptional agility and control during flight. The missile measures approximately 3.65 meters in length, with a diameter of 190 millimeters and weighs about 190 kilograms. The Meteor's ramjet propulsion system is a standout feature, occupying a significant portion of its body to maintain sustained thrust over long distances. Its streamlined structure reduces drag, allowing it to engage high-speed, evasive targets effectively. The missile's internal arrangement is carefully divided into sections for the warhead, active radar seeker, data link receiver, and propulsion. Overall, both AIM-120 AMROM and Meteor demonstrate advanced design principles aimed at enhancing their performance in air. The AIM-120 AMROM is powered by a solid-fuel rocket motor, a single-stage propulsion system designed for high thrust and simplicity. The solid propellant allows for quick ignition and acceleration, enabling the missile to reach speeds of Mach 4. The missile has an operational range of about 70 to 160 kilometers, depending on the variant and launch conditions. The AIM-120D, the latest version, boasts the maximum range of approximately 160 kilometers. It operates effectively at altitudes ranging from near sea level to over 20,000 meters, making it versatile for engaging targets in various scenarios. The single-stage configuration ensures reliability and reduces maintenance requirements, which is essential for quick deployment in combat. On the other hand, the Meteor missile features a highly advanced propulsion system known as a solid-fuel ramjet. Unlike traditional rocket motors, the ramjet sustains thrust throughout the missile's flight, allowing it to maintain high speeds and energy over long distances. It achieves a speed of over Mach 4, similar to the AMROM, but its ramjet gives it a significant advantage in sustained performance. The Meteor has an operational range exceeding 200 kilometers, with its no escape zone, the range within which a target cannot evade interception, being much larger than most contemporary missiles. It is designed to engage targets at altitudes up to 25,000 meters. The missile has a single-stage propulsion system, but the ramjet allows for more efficient fuel use, ensuring consistent performance even during prolonged engagements. Overall, both AIM-120 AMROM and Meteor employ different propulsion technologies to achieve high performance. Talking about the weapons and payload capacity, 
the AIM-120 AMROM is equipped with a conventional high-explosive warhead designed to destroy aerial targets effectively. The missile's warhead weighs approximately 23 kilograms and uses a fragmentation design. This type of warhead disperses a high number of small metal fragments upon detonation, increasing the likelihood of damaging or destroying the target. The warhead is triggered by a proximity fuse, which detonates when the missile is near its target, maximizing the impact. The AIM-120 is not designed to carry nuclear warheads or multiple warheads. It is strictly a single warhead missile. The destruction radius of its warhead is approximately 15 to 30 meters, depending on the target size and the missile's angle of approach. This range is sufficient for taking down fighter jets or smaller unmanned aerial vehicles. On the other hand, the Meteor missile is also armed with a conventional high-explosive fragmentation warhead, optimized for air-to-air -air engagements. Its warhead weighs slightly more than that of the AMROM, at around 30 kilograms. The fragmentation design, coupled with a smart proximity fuse, ensures precise detonation to maximize damage to the target. Like the AMROM, the Meteor is not designed to carry nuclear warheads or multiple warheads. It is strictly intended for precision targeting with a single warhead. The destruction radius of the Meteor is estimated to be around 30 to 50 meters, offering a larger effective kill zone than the AMROM. This increased radius enhances its ability to engage larger or more agile targets effectively. Overall, both the AIM-120 AMROM and Meteor missiles are designed to carry single conventional high-explosive fragmentation warheads, ensuring effectiveness against a wide range of aerial targets. Regarding guidance and accuracy, the AIM-120 AMROM uses an advanced combination of inertial navigation and active radar guidance systems for precision targeting. During the initial phase of flight, it relies on inertial navigation, which keeps the missile on the intended trajectory. In the mid-course phase, updates can be received via a data link from the launching aircraft, allowing for adjustments based on the target's movement. As the missile approaches the target, its onboard active radar seeker takes over, enabling it to lock onto and track the target independently. This guidance system ensures high accuracy, with an estimated circular error probable of less than 10 meters, making it highly reliable in air-to-air -air engagements. The missile is highly maneuverable during flight, using its control fins and thrust vectoring to adjust course and follow evasive targets. On the other hand, the Meteor missile features a sophisticated guidance system that combines inertial navigation, mid-course data link updates, and an active radar seeker for terminal guidance. The inertial navigation system ensures stability and accuracy during the initial phase of flight, while the mid-course data link allows for real-time updates from the launch aircraft or other network platforms. In the terminal phase, its active radar seeker locks onto the target, enabling precision tracking and engagement. The Meteor has a CEP of less than 3 meters, making it one of the most accurate air-to-air -air missiles in the world. The missile's advanced maneuverability is achieved through its aerodynamic design and fin control, supported by the sustained thrust from its ramjet engine, allowing it to counter evasive maneuvers by agile targets effectively. Overall, both AIM-120 AMROM and Meteor utilize cutting-edge guidance systems that combine inertial navigation, mid-course data link updates, and active radar seekers, ensuring high accuracy and adaptability. Regarding launch platforms, the AIM-120 AMROM is highly versatile and can be launched from a wide range of fighter jets, including the F-15, F-16, F-22, F-35, and even some NATO standard aircraft. It is also integrated into ground-based air defense systems like the NASAMS, enhancing its deployment flexibility. The missile is designed for rapid response, with a preparation time of just a few seconds from receiving the launch command to being airborne. This quick response capability is critical in modern air combat, where reaction time can determine success. AMROM is deployed from both mobile platforms, such as fighter jets, and semi-fixed platforms like NASAMS launchers, making it adaptable for both offensive and defensive operations. On the other hand, the Meteor missile is primarily launched from advanced European fighter jets like the Eurofighter Typhoon, Saab Gripen, and Dassault Rafale. Its integration into these platforms ensures seamless operation and compatibility. Like the AMROM, the Meteor is capable of rapid deployment, with launch readiness achieved within seconds after the command is issued. This swift response time ensures it can intercept even high speed, maneuvering targets effectively. While it is predominantly deployed from airborne platforms, Meteor's modular design and NATO interoperability make it adaptable for potential integration into ground-based systems in the future. However, its current deployment focuses on fighter jet applications, 
providing air forces with a mobile and flexible weapon system. Overall, both AIM-120 AMROM and Meteor are designed for rapid deployment, with readiness times measured in seconds. Coming to the cost, the development of the AIM-120 Advanced Medium Range Air-to-Air -air Missile began in the late 1970s, aiming to replace the AIM-7 Sparrow. The total program cost for the U.S. Air Force and Navy was approximately $10.399 billion, with an average unit cost of $953,000 as of the fiscal year 2000. In more recent years, the unit cost has increased, with estimates ranging from $1.1 million to $2.4 million per missile, depending on the variant and configuration. On the other hand, the Meteor missile's development costs are shared among partner nations, including the UK, Germany, France, Italy, Spain, and Sweden. As of 2019, the unit production cost of the Meteor missile was around $2.18 million. The AIM-120 has been a cornerstone of U.S. and Allied air combat capabilities since its introduction. As of 2008, over 14,000 units had been produced for the United States and 33 international customers. On the other hand, the Meteor missile has been progressively integrated into the air forces of partner nations, including the UK, France, Germany, Italy, Spain, and Sweden. In summary, the AIM-120 AMROM and Meteor missiles showcase the evolution of air-to-air -air missile technology. While both missiles are designed to dominate the skies, their unique features reflect differing priorities. The AMROM focuses on flexibility and global deployment, while the Meteor emphasizes advanced technology and extended reach. Which missile do you think has the edge in modern combat scenarios? Let us know in the comments below. That's it for today's comparison, make sure to like, share, and subscribe for more defense updates and comparisons. See you in the next video.